Okay, so I just want to do a quick video um, to pull these readings all together for you. Yeah. <clears throat> um, it will only be a quick video. So, let's start at the beginning. Well, actually, let's start at the end. <laughs> So I pulled three cards this morning, which are, or were, sorry, and this is energy for, uh, for the next for the next two or three days, but I'll, but I'll probably pull more cards on Saturday. So you had the reconciliation. You had Anunnaki light codes and you had blood. So that kind of energy is around bringing together the, the polar opposites in yourself, in your own being, yeah, to then activate your, your light body, if you want to call it that, yeah, your higher awareness yeah to be able to or your soul to get in contact with your soul find out how your soul wants to actually be in this world yeah to then bring in your uniqueness your gifts you know your your what makes you you your uniqueness yeah and <clears throat> so i just I just had a um, did a, a voice message for someone, um, and I was I was kind of, and I, I got very very animated, um, like describing how this all fits together. So this blood card that is in uh, the reading, what you can expect energetically over the next two or three days, is the one I posted this morning. So this blood card has come up, so it came up today. It. I uh, can't remember if it came up in the portal reading or not. Um, let me just have a very quick little look. <laughs> Bear with me. Because um, I didn't write those down. <laughs> I just did the video. So I didn't actually write them down. So let's have a look. Uh, this would have been the second row. Bear with me. No, third row. Sorry, third row. Third row. No, not there yet. Bear with me. There's blood in there anywhere. I can't. See, don't think so. By the looks of it, but it has come up. It where it did come up was in the full moon. So between the full moon, which was last week, and the dark moon, so it's a waning moon now. Um, one of the things that come up in that was blood, the ancestral link, yeah, the ancestral realm. Um, was it actually the blood card? It wasn't actually the blood card, but it came up, ancestral link with blood. Uh, where it did come up, though, I think it was in the reading for the first six months of this particular year of 2022 yeah so it's is it's vital so by by keeping your blood as unmessed with as possible 
so no external influences coming in if you get my drift <coughs> um, you keep the integrity of your uniqueness of your ancestral line it does not get broken yeah that's what Thomas Sheridan calls sanguinosis the 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 knowing of your and the, the, your ancestral line your 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 religion if you like your way of being is knowing that your blood is pure yeah has not been tampered with by external forces yeah so i just wanted to kind of reiterate that because it, it like i say it that came up in the reading on the 30th of december as one of the things that is crucial to your soul so and how it wants to be in the world yeah because part of your soul's journey will be through um the journey of your ancestors i don't know if that makes sense to you makes sense to me um so what we're kind of seeing so this month from the dark from the full moon to the dark moon is we're seeing a journey so by the time we get to the dark moon which is on the 2nd of march there will be a karmic release because one, one, the card that came right at the top of that was ancestral realm. So that's karmic release, healing the lineage of your ancestors that came before. So as you step onto your path, your soul's path, your soul's calling, your vocation, your enterprise, whatever you want to call that, yeah, that, that, that ripple effect that comes from in here ripples out. It doesn't just ripple out to your vicinity. It ripples back through. It's, it's like a backfill. Yeah. It's like when people talk about quantum jumping or timeline jumping. Yeah. Everything backfills for then that to happen. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> um yeah time travel Ooh, fucks with your brain yeah but what i do know is when you jump timelines things will then backfill so that then you have a clear path of of how you got there yeah so that makes sense so <clears throat> what happens when you step onto your into your soul's calling your vocation whatever you want to call that it, it ripples out through your ancestral line in the form of a healing yeah so it's healing on all levels so know thyself it's the most important thing that you can know is yourself fuck everything else nothing else is yeah, what the fuck is going on out there? It doesn't, really doesn't matter. Yeah, in here is what matters. This is where you make a difference. In here, yeah, in here. Yes, I'm wearing Batman today. <laughs> so this this energy for the next couple of days the the reconciliation so then yeah the ripple out of that might be that you have people coming back in that had gone stranger things have happened um and kind of share when, when you share that higher version of yourself that creates a healing as well and what it does is it holds a space 
for other people to do the same. That is powerful. And that is a healing in itself as well. But I digress. Um, so, what we have, let me just check in with that. So, the energy from the full moon to the dark moon, another aspect of that, is the the knowing that you can free yourself from your own prison for a start because this is where it's at this is where it's at your mind is where it's at yeah if you change the way you think you change what you see or how you see it flip it yeah so through moving through this <laughs> transmutation transformation whatever you want to call it you know that there, there will be things that get left behind so there is a grief there there is a loss and a sorrow uh, great sadness as you grieve the loss of what you thought you knew yeah but then when you come through the other side of that and you overcome those obstacles because the other thing that came up as well between full moon and the dark moon is the the dark times resting after a battle uh, returning renewed hidden matters unfair practices and universal law balances everything out so those who have been cheating and who have cheated and when i say cheated i mean globalists yeah greedy bastards yeah they'll be held to account which is you're seeing that right now are we not we are seeing it because people ordinary people are saying uh well no we're not actually going to do that in fact we're going to make a decision here which is going to directly affect you and then you have to go a big flip-flop and go all the way back to the start again snakes and ladders yeah <laughs> Trudeau has just gone all the way down the snake, all the way back to the bottom again. So when you overcome these obstacles, you get courage and you build strength and you find your tenacity, yeah? Triumph, leadership, balance, all these amazing things, joy and freedom and uh, like a... There's a power there, isn't there? There's a power there. When people collectively say, mm, nah. No. <clears throat> so that is, is still happening all the way up to the dark moon. Um, do, 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 do. Finding your peace, growth personal and collective growth yes natural cycles nature path if you're interested in learning basics of witchcraft under this video uh, we're doing it as a donation based thing lesson by lesson um, pay attention to your dreams I've had been having some very strange dreams recently <laughs> Not that I haven't been having strange dreams all my life, but they've been really weird <laughs> recently. Um, dance with life. That was another thing that came through. And how it ties in to the overall energy of the first six months of the year. Mark your successes. Yeah. Mark them. Mentally or celebrate ritual whatever yeah and rituals create structure yeah um balance so where we come out at at the end of the first six months is at a place of balance honor integrity because those things that have been muddying the waters yeah that energy is being transmuted for sure we can see it yeah enjoy the ride play the game 
but know what it is that you're playing. Because when you know the game and you can dip in and play it and not be affected by it, that's the middle path. We teach that as well. Um, achievements, being an involved, you know, actually embodying being an involved being, yeah? Very high energy. So this is something that people are feeling right now. This really high energy is hitting me in my stomach and my throat at the moment. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on high alert, but not in a bad way. It's in a, it's in a, come on, I'm just waiting for this thing. What is it? Are you feeling that? Are you feeling that? Because I know quite a few people that are. Um, and everything is unfolding and it, at an accelerated rate, but it's on track. It's like the you know the really really high speed trains that actually that they don't they're not on tracks they're kept in place with magnetics yeah electromagnet uh, electromagnetic energy is what they're kept on track with yeah not on a track a track that's not a track fluidic thinking um, so what you need to do is you need to stay grounded. You need to buckle up. Put your seatbelt on, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> if you've ever been on one of those, um, I went years and years ago, uh, I went to, it's like a Star Trek um, convention type thing, and they had this uh, simulator, yeah. Uh, well, they had two things. They had the bridge of the Enterprise. Oh, my God, that was amazing. But they also had a simulator, it was simulating a shuttlecraft moving through uh, the remains of a Borg cube that was still, you know, actively, you know, defending itself and firing at you. Oh, my God. And the guy said, when we got on there, he said, hold on to the rail. I'm like, yeah, right, hold on to the rail. Fucking hell. <laughs> and he got thrown out the fucking seat because I wasn't holding on to the rail. So hold on to the rail, put your seatbelt on, Get yourself grounded because that's what will see you through. Staying grounded in whatever way, shape or form works for you. There are no rules. Yeah. If you can work out what keeps you grounded, do it. Keep doing it and doing it all the way through. All the way through. Just all the way through. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. Um, find your stride. Find your stride. Stay focused. Yeah on you know how your soul wants to be in this world for goodness sake because we're, yeah we're not taught that at school we are not taught that by anybody we have to figure it out as we go along and especially right now in this energy yeah it's like it's new for everybody <laughs> no one knows the answers we just got to fucking work it out as we go along yeah but isn't that exciting it's fucking amazing anyway stop doing that <laughs> um yeah so the energy for the first six months ties in with you know all this other stuff that i've been talking about celebrating fluidic thinking if you don't know what fluidic thinking is you need to come and talk to us because we've been talking about this for a little while now not that long but it's it's what we teach yeah like not this middle path middle path but I coined uh, the phrase uh, 30th of December, that I've written in my book, fluidic thinking, yeah. So through fluidic thinking, so it's thinking in layers, and then you can take layers out, put layers in, you know, according to how you feel, what you're doing, what you're practicing, you know, whatever. Um, there are no rules, see, fluidic thinking. Um, you transform. That's how you transmute things. That's how you transform. That's how you evolve by not staying stuck on one particular thing. Because if you stay stuck on a particular thing, what happens then when that thing blows up in your face and says something that you don't agree with? You think, oh, okay, so I just put all my time and effort over there. And now they're doing a backtrack, doing a Trudeau, 
or Boris or whoever, whoever the reason it thinks in charge, yeah, they're not. Um, you know, and you think, oh, okay, so, uh, so I've just wasted 30 years of my life going, yay, for this one over here, when actually they're talking shit, yeah. So, <laughs> uh, yes, so that's basically, I just want to kind of pull all those together a little bit for you. So you can see got a, how it all kind of fits together. If I could draw it, I would, but I can't, so I'm not going to. <laughs> um, yeah. So I hope that makes sense. Um, and I will be pulling more cards up until the 3rd of March, yeah, because we, well, be the 2nd and the 3rd, because what we've also got between now and then is a dark moon, and there's stuff going on astrologically as well, though my astrology is... <laughs> um, I know there's stuff happening with Venus and Mars and Jupiter. That's about all I can tell you about that. Go and look it up if you're interested, because don't come to me for astrology, because I don't know it. Um, but I know there is big energies going on with Venus and Mars and Jupiter. So, and Pluto. So... Yeah, I hope that's kind of helped to kind of pull all this together for you. Um, something I will say as well. So I, I was doing a, um, I also did a reading for Smurf. He's on my foot. <laughs> he put his bum on my foot. <laughs> no, he's, he's got a clean body, don't worry. Uh, yes, yeah, so I, I drew some cards today also for our enterprise because we're doing we're doing our enterprise. Notice I'm not using the biz word uh, because it when you look the, up the etymology of that word, oh my god, what a spell! Um, so enterprise is much nicer, as is the word vocation or a vocation. That's all one word, a vocation. Um, but <laughs> that's a side salad. Um, so. When I pulled, I pulled some cards today for our enterprise, just to check that we're on track. And so some of the um, crystals that you can use for this energy at the moment and to move yourself forward, yeah, because it all ties into not just the cards that I pulled for our enterprise, but also this energy at the moment. You got Moonstone, Aquamarine, but also, for the balance, sunstone, orange calcite, and rose quartz. Yeah? So if you can, if you've got those crystals, then, or use whatever ones you've got out of those um, to really tap into this energy that's happening at the moment. Yeah? Um, and work on your third eye as long as you're grounded because one thing that we know from our own practice and also from observing people when they aren't grounded if you go straight to working on your higher chakras when you have not been working on your grounding then it can it does strange things it can make you very discombobulated so work on your grounding before working on your higher chakras, so throat, third eye, crown, and beyond. Um, work on your grounding first. Yeah. A tree, think of it like a tree, yeah. A tree cannot grow up, yeah, and reach for <laughs> no. I'm not doing reach for the stars. Fuck off. Honestly, you know, when you get weird songs pop in your head, it's like, no, go away. It's a horrible song. <laughs> it's a nice song, but it's no, it's no, no. <laughs> so a tree cannot spread its branches, yeah, without having roots. So if you're trying to activate your higher chakras because they're sexier than the, the lower chakras, yeah, which is fucking, you know, stop it <laughs> you cannot do that and do it in a way that is 
beneficial unless you are grounded first. So ground yourself, work on your grounding and then work on your higher chakras, yeah? And that's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> I could go on for ages about it. And in fact, um, years ago, I wrote a blog post about why, um, you know, the things that we observed in people and why it's important to be grounded. And what I will do is I will um, republish that on our new website. Um, and you can read. You can read all about it. Uh, if you want to go and visit our website, it's crystalsrock.earth where we say many things um, it's not just crystals we do healing as well and there are free, lots of free things that you can grab and do um, so yeah I hope that's helped you anyway I hope that's helped to kind of coalesce it all together in a, in a ball of tiny wimey stuff um, dog's gone again <laughs> Uh, yeah, so until the next video, I will say cheerio and stay fearless.